apprehension test. In this test, the arm is abducted and placed in an externally rotated position. That is what you can see on the screen here. And as you can note very carefully, that the right arm of the examiner is providing anterior traction on the humerus, pulling the posterior part of the humeral head forward. And the same test can be done from the back with the patient sitting up and the examiner pushing forward on the posterior head of the humerus. So what is this test is all about? This apprehension test is an assessment of the glenohumeral joint instability. With the patient sitting or lying supine, the shoulder is placed into 90 degrees of abduction, 90 degrees of external rotation and 90 degrees of elbow flexion. Now, the examiner applies pressure on the posterior aspect of the proximal humerus and attempts to move the humeral head anteriorly. The test is considered to be positive if the patient experiences apprehension due to impending subluxation or dislocation of the glenohumeral joint. And what are the conditions which are associated with the positive results? Most commonly, the traumatic conditions, examples like recurrent glenohumeral joint subluxation or dislocation, or rotator cuff muscle injury, injury to the glenoid labrum, or glenoid defect, for example, Bancot fracture, or maybe because of the humeral head defect, that is, Helsac's fracture. In all these conditions, you may see the positivity of the test. And what is the mechanism behind this? Mainly, the glenohumeral joint instability is caused by the dysfunction of the bony or maybe because of the soft tissue structures that maintains the stability of the joint. That can be mainly done by the glenoid, humeral head or the joint capsule or maybe the ligaments or the capsules associated with the shoulder joint or maybe the labrum or rotator cuff muscles, right? All these are the supportive structures of the joint. And the shoulder joint is susceptible to instability mainly due to its inherent mobility and complex soft tissue structures responsible for the stability. In the apprehension test, the joint is placed into a position vulnerable to instability. So it is the typical position precipitating traumatic anterior dislocation of the shoulder. For this reason, significant number of healthy patients will experience apprehension during this maneuver. An apprehension test for glenohumeral joint instability is moderately useful screening test. And based on the available data from the clinical research, the test has a limited utility to rule in the diagnosis. It is not used in the setting of acute anterior shoulder dislocation. This is what we need to know about the test.